Caitlin has her standards. Good morning. Really? Hi. It's Caddy Jack's Knits. So you can stay here <laughs> for the ride of your life? That we are a knitting, knitting podcast. podcast. I know. We're going to make this new viewer friendly. Okay. So Hi. you're Jackie. Yeah. And I'm Caitlin. And we live in Madison, Wisconsin. We do. It's December 14th. I thought you just said it. <laughs> or 15th. It's somewhere. It's mid-December. Yep. Shortly, it will be the winter solstice, and the days will get longer. Mm -hmm. Who knew that that's an, a possibility? Wow. We're Something knitters. To look for. We're also Melissa Jenkins earring mm -hmm. models. Yes, we yes. are. Um, yeah, and we're excited that you're here with us today. Yeah. We have lots for you. To, this is so perfect, like what I'm about to say. We have mm -hmm. lots in store for you, oh. including Lily and Sally at the end of the podcast. We have some giveaways. And maybe we should say for those people that aren't haven't watched the podcast, you know, oh, Sally is your mom. Right. Yes. And Lily is your son's girlfriend yes. who's currently living in your house. Yes, and she's a new knitter, mm -hmm. and Sally's mostly a quilter, and Caitlin that, this might like lead into this talking about what we are because our identity is as knitters, but we're looking to expand that in the new year. Are we like pole dancing or something? <laughs> Did you happen to see the unicorn pole I dancing? I sent that to you. Oh, yes, I saw it because I sent it to you. Okay, sorry. <laughs> oh um, my gosh, that was yeah. well. So for those who, so it was. Somebody that was in one of those inflatable costumes, and it was a unicorn, unicorn, and she was pole dancing in it. Yeah, it was. It was something it was a else. for the eyes. Yeah, <laughs> that way. Yes, Should I, I talk about the pole dancing class I took or no? no? No, I do want to say it's very physically challenging, and the I think I would have stuck to it, but it hurts your skin. Oh, I don't, and I just yeah. I don't like pain. Like, okay, fine. <laughs> more to say on that topic I'm sure but I'll save it. that's a I'll whole different it. podcast <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> jackie's outtakes well but this is the podcast for it because nobody's gonna see this episode because there's oh my gosh so that's many so blogs. not true oh well okay, okay. fine Whatever. but i won't talk about i mean it maybe again. they're not tuning in for you but that's true that's true hi um, to my viewers <laughs> i know right because we're, we're just gonna call this the caddy knits podcast no, I think no, there was, was going to be like no. This. It was going to be Let's just this. imagine it all by yourself. Is the lighting right? Yeah. Is my is? Did I get this right? <laughs> well, that would be me, right? Yeah. Well, that's true. Okay. Well, I mean that right. Okay, we're not going to waste our time. We're going to make this good. Is not, what? Oh, they're just knitting. Oh, we're going to waste so your time. Could I talk about what we had for breakfast then? You ate breakfast? No, I didn't. Actually, I have nothing to eat except caffeine, but okay. you don't like it when I talk about what we've had for breakfast. I got to see oh. a new side of Caitlin yesterday. Oh, we had brunch, <laughs> and we didn't get to eat until what? It was probably one thirty. Yeah, and I'm usually kind of the crabby one. Mm -hmm. uh, I wasn't crabby. You weren't, but you were like... Shaky. I was low. I had low blood sugar. Yeah, yeah. And you know, things were touch and go for a while. Yeah. Well, I hadn't had anything to eat till one thirty. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good for her. Mm -mm. No, it's not good for her. Isn't this just like riveting conversation? Do riveting. It is riveting. No. Let's, should we believe her? Care more? No. Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Anyway, well, yeah. So now I'm back to my perky self. Perky self, and I'm really admiring your sweater. Well, and my I admire you together. Are we good? Yeah. By the way, yeah, silk mohair, in case you're wondering. She's petting me again. Public service. I'm petting did you, us. Did, she didn't ask Public permission. <laughs> did else. you notice that? She just went in for the pet. <laughs> I did. But we're I not, did. I didn't say no, though. We're not a couple, by the way. Oh, yeah. Molly. <laughs> Hi, Molly. Maybe you're out there. She what? already knows, but whatever. Yeah, that was... But he tell like that, we could tell close. that story. I, we've told it so That's, many times. Uh, we did? Oh, Molly, I, I feel really bad. Molly from the Molly's not watching. Is not watching. She's too busy. She's vlogging She's right vlogging now. like every second of her day, yeah. every day. It's like, I don't know where she gets And I easy. have her bracelet and I need to mail it back to her and I haven't done it Okay, yet. this is like full confession. Oh. <laughs> okay, but back to the sweaters. My public service announcement is silk mohair is very very warm yes which is a very good thing in the winter but i'm almost like you're dying well just a little bit yeah but we do mm. this for you i'm perfectly comfortable. and i have to admit like these two necklines mm -hmm. are what what's the word where it's like the epitome of you and i yes like, totally. right like, like i'm like looking at you going 
Right, and we should we could we literally switch. swap the sweaters, no, and maybe at the end we'll, we'll do that. Put that in, yeah, because I don't know. You'll let me try yours on. Yeah. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. Okay, so let's talk about some of the sweater wear. We have. I'm going to talk about this one first because it's not involved in anything. Like it's not part of a cow. Oh, sure. This is the Stockholm sweater by Petite Knits. It's Isair mohair, silk mohair, number sixty-two. It's two strands held together, and I was attracted to the collar right away. It's one mm. of these, you know, doubled, and then it has pearls right there. One row of pearls mm, and folded it over. It gives a little scallop touch to yeah, it. Yeah, and the construction is flat until you, because it's a, uh, what are these called? Drop, drop shoulders. shoulders. Mm -hmm. So it has to be flat until here. Mm. And there are <clears throat> it's a pretty seam short rows back here to shape the shoulder and the cuff is designed to not be folded but I folded it oops I have friends and it has a very long um, ribbed band like beautiful four inches or Was so that twisted rib no I mean oh. it, you could easily do it and look at how mm, it's just the coziest <laughs> mm. it's so mm. cozy and good so you all want one of these I I don't know you know everybody it is knits. so fl I mean it's thick yeah. For two strands of mohair, I think that's what's so surprising yeah. is you think oh, it's so fine. It has such a loft to it. Yeah. Yeah, you're radiating heat. Hot. Hi. Hot. Okay. Yeah. It's touching so, me again. <clears throat> I am. So anyways, it's, I, in that spirit of wearing, knitting things that you will wear all the time, mm -hmm. I mean, when am I not going to wear this? I don't know. I got you to. might as well just stop knitting because you won't be able to get anything into your rotation. I know. I know. I love this. Is that going to happen? Yeah, I'm, no, I'm not going to stop knitting. I got to wear it to Hamilton. Oh, nice. Yes. And now I'm listening to Ron Chernoff's biography. So I'm not watching Vlogmas. I'm listening to historical biographies instead. I feel so kind of... You're very adult. Yeah, I feel like I'm quite an adult. I could talk to you about the Federalist Papers next. I'm sure you'll all tune in, right? No. Um, what else do I want to say about this knit? Would you do it again in a different color? Uh, I would not do it again for a while. It was a, I, it was really, a slog, right? It I was guess. yeah, because it is a lot of stockinette. Here's the pattern, you know. It is just so beautiful mm -hmm. though, and I guess I feel like not. I kind of I like the difference that it's drop shoulder. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so there's not a lot to say. It was definitely like knit knit knit, and I just finished knitting the boho blush in this color, and I knit this in this color, and you'll see my work in progress is in this color. Whew, whatever. Well, I'm just going to, you know. It's a good color for you. It's my, yeah, I love this color. It's your spirit color. <clears throat> mm -hmm. So that's it. I've designed it to wear with something that I'll show when we get to works in progress. Caitlin, I just invited her onto the podcast to be a backdrop <laughs> for my shawl. <laughs> Isn't that nice of her? You are yeah. so sweet. I'm a giver. I'm a giver. Yeah. Hey, did you wear these last night, though? I did. Oh, which, I, yeah. Caitlin went to a party without me. No it was it was a neighborhood party. I'm pretty <laughs> sure you would have had no interest in it. Marco so Polo at her all so night. Nothing. Nothing. No, we should explain what Marco Polo is for those people that don't know, right? It's our new secret passion because you can change your <laughs> you can change your it's voice. A, it's it's well somebody else was telling me it's kind of like TikTok if Oh, those okay. People out there that whatever. Are, like, I don't whatever. even know how to use microphones, like the little things that come with your iPhone. Obviously, I outed myself. You mean the Bluetooth on. ones? No, the little white earbuds. Yeah. And then they have a microphone right here. I've never in my life used that. You have you? Actually, yes. You don't actually have to do anything. You put them in your ears, you plug them into your phone, and you talk. This little piece right here, you don't have to do anything. That can go up or down or mute it. Yeah, but okay. Here's my confusion: is sometimes when you have things in your ears, people can't hear you. I don't. I don't. Never mind. No, you can't hear them. <laughs> they can hear. <laughs> I'm gonna put them on and like <laughs> listen to my iPhone for a while during this podcast. Yeah, no, it's really, just a, like, it's got it a little out. microphone. Okay. Oh, okay. there she goes. Look, I have um, them right here. Wow. Yeah, so it's okay. <laughs> Somebody has to explain out. something. Everybody has to be have something explained to them. I know. Oh, point. my gosh. True. And Marco Polo's been new, and I've learned so much about Instagram from Lily, too. All these new things. Do, do you we, really do we have to say who Lily is? Do yeah. Because we, yeah. we started this podcast oh, maybe three we times. Didn't. Okay, what we're talking about is this. 
I think everyone out there actually doesn't need an explanation, but maybe this will help imprint it in your brain. So why don't you explain it, teacher? <laughs> what is this? I'm surprised I, you didn't ask your third graders. Well, but I'm sure okay, they all have iPhones. But, so this is, could you be, could I be talking on the phone? And it's <laughs> plugged so, into my phone? And yes, I could call this somebody? <laughs> Would you like to call me right now? Yes. I don't have if my, I had my oh phone my God, no. Okay, never mind. I don't. Yes, you plug. I'm sorry, people. You will give okay. you a timestamp of when you can fast forward to the, the okay. knitting. I'm gonna call Caitlin right I don't now. Think my phone's up okay, there. here we go. Oh boy. Okay. You could actually. Hey Siri, Siri call don't, Caitlin. Don't, you don't actually have to. Um, you could you could FaceTime somebody with those on too. Could I? That means no one else can hear. But you all can hear the phone ringing right now, or can just. I... <laughs> no, they, because you're calling my phone, and my phone isn't in the vicinity of this room. Okay, okay. well, good. so <laughs> okay, I've learned new things today. <laughs> this is gonna. Oh, I'm so glad any... no one can see this podcast. What do you mean no one can see it? Well, because it's Vlogmas. No one will oh, see it. whatever. You're like, okay, no <laughs> one's watching. So we can do, why don't we just get naked? <laughs> Ooh. No. Okay. okay. Not doing that. Ooh, anyway, okay. so I'm just going to repeat ourselves because, like I okay. said, we started this three times. Okay. So I'm not really sure. So um, we, at the end of this podcast, we will be inviting Sally and Lily to join us. Yeah, I think we already, I don't know. Sorry. And Caitlin doesn't like people drinking on podcasts or having lipstick <laughs> no i'm saying that there are people out there oh, that don't like oh, it you so, don't mind no i don't mind oh, okay. but you're okay and thank you for all the comments last time about <laughs> us using petroleum products <laughs> and i know um, we're working on it though. we are we are and we, we we're aware we're we're more aware than we were before but i drive anyway. a prius and i had get scored do you know this my car gives me a score it turns lily drove my car and she let me know her score was like something like 77 mm -hmm. and i said oh let me see what's my score and it was 35 what's better lower 77 high. is way better yeah that's because you're probably revving your engine like bumping up against yeah, it, but, right? But, like, the last thing I need is to be evaluated every time I get in and out of my car, and now that's going to happen. Why? Wow, you can turn it off. Oh, that's true. But Who it's cares? something that my family enjoys, like, sh comparing their scores to mine. I did Wow, you guys are living the dream. <laughs> I know. I'm Wait till you show them your iPhone earbud trick. It's going to be revolutionary. Oh, I'm so, so, I'm so I sorry. cannot believe you so just did that on so, video. Yeah, like... You are the most well-educated person I know, and wow. Well, from time to time, there's little holes. In I mean, you have a selfie. You've had to, like you're on your second selfie stick. How could you not know how to use <laughs> earbuds? I mean, you are you are a talented acrobat with your selfie stick. Thanks. So, yeah, maybe later today we'll take a selfie. We will. Okay. Okay. So, anyways, back to so the this sweaters. is a knitting podcast. This is the Stockholm sweater, yes. and I'm very happy with it. And you should be. It's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay. And this this is my finished ready sweater. This is my second it's been one. Been finished on Instagram, hasn't it? Right. Been, so I was still. I can't remember how far along I was last time, but I was pretty far. Hold on. Um, am I? Are you shedding? Me? I'm yeah. always shedding. Um, so I knit the, this is a pattern by Anka Strick. This is the second time I've knit it. Um, and I knit this in ritual dyes, um, on their maiden, um, one strand of maiden and one st strand of fay, which is their mohair, um, in the, uh, malachite colorway. So. I thought it was hematite. Sorry. Hematite. hematite. Um. Anyway, so that's what I'm here for. Um, I absolutely love it. I really didn't do anything different. I think I knit. I knit the size large. Um, you knit it and then flip it to um, flip it onto the reverse Ooh. side. Yeah. With the color, I know it's really different on the other side. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, there's a faux seam that goes down. And um, I probably I finished it maybe a, a week ago, and I've worn it a lot. <laughs> yeah, you could just uh, go back and forth, but you know, I know you have a ready this color. Yes, I could maybe maybe next time I could wear your ready. Yeah, I, mean, I could. It's too it'd big. Be like the same. It'd be you'd be like 
<clears throat> What's that? The shoulder thing? Yeah, the shoulder thing. No, but that's what I love about it. I love this neckline, and um, maybe I should flip it at some point and show you. So, you know, you can wear it on the other side. I just don't care for that as much because it's the, the neck rolls differently. I just absolutely, this is my favorite neckline. Um, so I can't say enough about it. I feel like I've talked about this sweater a lot because I've, this is my second time knitting it. Um, I, I would absolutely consider knitting a third. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have, I want to get my yarn out of there, so I'm going to do that and it's going to be okay. I'm going to pass through the camera and we're all going to be okay. When I pass through, tell them about the second sweater, Cal. So we have started a second sweater cowl or second um, knit cowl. It doesn't have to be a sweater. Um, just to really inspire people to join in. And if you've been thinking about knitting something for the second time, just start. And we have um, a Ravelry um, thread started. So people have already excuse me, added some things to... I'm trying to get her by. Um, so we've added, some people have already added um, their projects or their works in progress. And anyway, so, um, and we're running that through April, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah. For a long so time. It's just like, so it's just, a no pressure one. Yeah. I, if I ever, I got this for the Reagan, Caitlin, but I, I've been loving oh my ready God, it so be much. Oh my God, so amazing. Would it, look yes. At, ooh, that'd be such a good ready. Yeah. So, oh, and I think. Up. Can I pull one though? So and swap collection. Alisa has so much mohair yeah. now. I just got to bring it into Firefly and match it up. She has all that Julia Slane mm -hmm. and the Shibui. This is the Wa collection, Petroleum. So I maybe won't do a Reagan along because I'm really trying to evaluate all my knits right now. Uh -huh. on, look at it with your wear, eyes. I mean, am look I going to wear it? Go yeah. Close. Oh, okay. Look at that. <clears throat> so, as long as I don't touch my don't touch my, my nerves. Is, anyways, wow. Um, yeah. So the second sweater, um, for instance, I want to knit another boho blush, so I might do that for my second. My mom did a second shawl already, and it's hashed. We'll put the hashtag in yeah. the show notes. The show notes are a little arrow down there, and then I'll put them on Ravelry too, mm -hmm. so hooray. Yeah, <clears throat> so I, just fun way to just inspire you to keep doing it, and it could be a third. I mean, it doesn't have exactly. to be the second. Maybe if it's your fourth, you know, exactly. something you've done before. So yeah. it's, there's really not a lot of loop rules to this one we just thought it'd be fun to see what people yes the inspiration out there um i'm gonna just say something by the way on giveaways and cows mm -hmm. and now that i've completely like yeah, i have no credibility because i don't know how to use iphone earbuds <clears throat> at any rate when i in my spare time i do read a lot when i'm not um advancing my technological understandings <laughs> And um, it was just this series of events that led to deciding to do an advent, like a mindfulness mm -hmm. advent, and a, co a colleague of mine recommended this book, Unshakable Confidence, The Freedom to Be Our Authentic Selves by Mary Chapman, Mindfulness for Women. And she's just so enthusiastic about it <clears throat> that I was, I thought, sure, I'll read it. And it was, I looked, and I talked to Lily, who lives with me, wanted to read it, and then there were friends of mine on both coasts who wanted to read it, and we thought we'd just read a chapter a day, and the impulse behind that was things are so hectic and crazy mm -hmm. this time of year, and to just download something good for ourselves. So the book is 20 chapters, which is shorter than an advent, but oh well. It actually... I love these things when they all work out perfectly. So it turns out Mayor Chapman is the local author. And if, if you follow Caddy Jack's knits on Instagram, you'll see in the stories, I've just been putting up a quote every day from the chapter. Mm -hmm. And she started following, you know, and I would obviously credit her. And then she noticed that this was going on and she was very excited about it. So she wants to offer our viewers and it, it'll be through Instagram though, uh, a copy of the book. Mm. And then she has guided meditations that are in the book on CD. So the last day of the advent is for us is actually turns out on the solstice. So nice. that day, That's perfect. yeah, I'll put up, um, I'll put up a, <clears throat> something that'll be, what's it called? My grid, our grid. Mm. It'll be there. So it'll just be a regular post and you'll follow Caddy Jack's knits mm -hmm. and her and comment. And then, We'll pull a name on the solstice. Nice. So look for that. Yeah. It's really 
fantastic. I she's doing a retreat this weekend in town, and I she invited me to come, which would have been amazing. I'm so grateful for that opportunity. I have, <clears throat> I have really, and but I decided it was too busy and I mm -hmm. couldn't do it. But someday I would love to. I have really enjoyed these short practices of dropping in. I think the biggest thing of, on mindfulness, I'm going to say in my experience from practicing for quite a while, I did my first big training in it before I was a teacher because I knew it would be stressful. Mm -hmm. So I took this class at the UW. <clears throat> Is that it? And back then you had to do it for 40 minutes a day to really be practicing. Oh, that's an a obvious, big commitment. Yeah. And, and I did that during the course. But now I find it's a really as simple as just m m micro mindfulness, mm. and I try yeah, to practice just, that. That's good. Yeah, uh, like if you just drop in in small bits and mm -hmm. bursts and notice the shift. So we have um, another uh, giveaway and prize, and we're going to practice that together too. A little bit later in the podcast, we'll get to try it. It's so fun, and you'll get. She gets to be my guinea pig. Because you can tell from my expression, I had no, I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> surprise, Yay. surprise! But anyways, so check this out on Instagram, mm -hmm. and it's been a very fun, a good read. It's 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 been <clears throat> the lens of feminism and mindfulness has mm -hmm. been interesting and good because it's a lot of that negative self talk and body image and things like that that go into it. So I enjoyed it, and I continue to enjoy it. And if you haven't, I've saved them all in the highlights. Most of them. A few of them got away. But they're in the highlights, too. Okay. Yeah. And I learned all these fun ways of, like, changing the color of the font and having music and blah, blah, blah. Well, and your, are some of those photographs <clears throat> yours? They're all mine. Oh, they're all, they're all photographs? Yeah, pretty much. Like, okay. I take, I go for, I try to make them, Well, like, there were some that were, I feel like yesterday's was more of an, I couldn't figure out what it was a picture of. Oh, oh, you're right. That one wasn't. That was a wounded angel. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I wish I just loved that. Other than that. What's with the wounded angel? Oh, wounded angel. I, well, if you can't have wings, you can have silk mohair, mohair right? Yeah. I mean, this is the mohair voice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, moving on. Yeah. To, what should, should we move on? Should to? we talk about my whip and then our I giveaway? think we will. Okay. Should we talk about you? Yes. Oh yeah. Like. Okay. Whoa. Do you want to introduce the look at look at that? It's oh, so good. No, it's like I feel like you're just torturing me with this. But like. <clears throat> okay, we got this together in Rhinebeck. Oh. Meaning Caitlin paid for it because I'd lost my credit card in the pocket of my wallet. Yeah, that I can't see the Stellina in it, but it has copper, bronze, bronze Stellina. Uh, no, you're right, copper. I don't bronze. know. I think it's bronze. Okay. Yeah, it's funny. It's not showing up even in this light, but it's this beautiful green. And uh, so in the color, this is her, this is um, Farmer's Daughter Fiber. Um, this is the Moon Sister base um, in Mr. Pocket. And this is Odang base, which is the Surrey Alpaca in Dumplin. And, <clears throat> and it's 74 um, Surrey Alpaca, 26% silk. Ugh. It is my first time oh. working with Surrey mm. Alpaca. And Surrey Alpaca that's, is, that one strand? is so delightfully soft. Yeah, that's pretty. I mean, I would, I mean, that's, this is definitely can't thicker. See it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> definitely thicker than mohair. Yeah. I mean, what what weight would you say that is? I don't know. Fingering weight. Yeah, I suppose. So this Not is waste. the um, Seriously Holy by Stephen West. And it, it's brioche, and then it has these massive increases every once in a while mm -hmm. that create this sort of peacock look to it, I would say. Mm -hmm. And oh my Show gosh. the other side, too. The other side is... That's because um, it's almost easier to see the shirt on here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it's an oh. enormous shawl, but I have to tell you, it's so light. And and the side, the Surrey side on, on the bottom, it feels like it, it feels alive. Mm, it's if, amazing. You know how in real life like, they'll be like the, the squish factor, the underside of a you know I don't know the undersides how they're soft like ears or something mm -hmm. like that. Because this is this is nice. This is mo this is merino, but this. 
And so I've always loved brioche for, you know, the way the color it's got plays. A beautiful halo. But I actually am loving the f you can't sense it at all. The physical I mean, the I, physical I know. difference. I, I just oh, don't even like take so it away. Good. I just <laughs> what? so Why? because I'm so jealous that you, I don't want to. But knit you want to knit, don't you want to knit? Um, look at her like it's like a, well you you also have ends of okay, your come back here come back here it would look good on Caitlin we all know that mm -hmm. it would uh -huh. but um, she's never gonna let me wear it but what about that you were talking about another Stephen yeah the Astro. flying foxtail yeah flying mm -hmm. foxtail yeah Fox, yeah ooh, ooh, oh that's oh. just a loose stitch or something okay um and yeah did it's you spectacular mention that you get to go to the Oh, I didn't mention that. So uh, Stephen West is coming to Madison in, I think, the first weekend in February, and he will be do um, speaking at our Knitters Guild. <laughs> Would you like me to pause so you could keep going with your <laughs> no, stuff? No, I'm sorry. That was rude. That was so obnoxious. Okay, back to you, Caitlin. Yes, okay. Um, so Stephen West is coming. He's going to be speaking at our Knitters Guild, and he's offering... Um, classes that weekend and they did this huge lottery for and I think we talked about it before that we didn't get in which we were very disappointed and then I got an email that somebody had canceled a class and I was the next person in the lottery so mm -hmm. I get to take one of his color I think it's the color shift class it's so, so exciting. I wish I could bring you with me well afterwards we'll, we're going to have you and Rebecca Rebecca can guest podcast with us, and yeah. you guys can have a whole Stephen West experience. Rebecca is one of the women in our knitters group. Knitting yes. group. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, so I'm, I feel very, very lucky to take his class, and, um, you know, maybe you could be my personal driver and my personal assistant right. and right. Pull, pull the chair out for me, and I can right. introduce you to him. Exactly. Caitlin has an assistant. Right. I think they really go for that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyway, so we're excited about I'm, that. I'm just here to pull the hairs off of her sweater. Right. Is that okay, every? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, I'm sure that would fly. No problem at all. By the way, Madison Knitters Guild, huge, fabulous organization. And we now have in Madison, FYI, we have the Garver Feed Mill, mm -hmm. which has just been restored and renovated. And it's absolutely glorious. And we think it would host a magnificent knitting event yeah. there. So... You know, Stay tuned. Yeah, I know. Maybe we'll figure out how to do that someday. But well, I mean, now that you figured out the earbuds, the world is your oyster. I know. I mean, there's nothing I can't <laughs> take on. Um, speaking of taking on new things, right? Segway. That was good. That was so good. Wow. Um, yeah. So we have another um, project we're um, joining. Um, the lovely ladies. Um, from Cocktail Hour at the Coop, another fun podcast. Um, it's two sisters um, are doing their um, new to me make. Oh my gosh, new to me, new to you, new to you, Cal. So um, um, 2020, uh, they did one last year, and basically it's a Cal where um, they're having a lot of different makers join. So podcasters. Um, people who dye yarn or crochet, you know, all different things. Um, this is their logo, new to you. So um, cute. Make, new to you, make along 2020. Um, and we'll link, um, we'll link some information below definitely to the um, cocktail hour at the Coop um, uh, Instagram. But basically it's an opportunity to just try something new like mm -hmm. maybe you I mean we all have probably lists you know of things like oh I want to try embroidery or I want to try sewing or whatever it is and it's really just um, an opportunity to just go and try something in January and all of the people that are um, part of this cow like <laughs> I'm, sorry, I'm listening all of the um, the people that are sponsoring sponsoring the cow will be um, gathering prizes and so we'll have some giveaways so there is a oh my gosh you're such a pain sorry you're not sorry you can't just say i'm sorry and think that that just like negates it sorry okay <laughs> but anyway um focus i'm focused yeah i know it's like you're so your you're face. so focused you can't like oh but that's not right anyway okay. um so we'll have a bunch of prizes and giveaways at the end um that we all um bring together so it'll be some fun prizes and there is a ravelry feed so um definitely check that out and 
Um, and so I, so we had a long conversation about like, okay, well, what do we want to try? And, you know, we've had a lot of things on our Before list. Before you mention this, mm -hmm. it will be officially kicked off in a podcast yes. in January. Right now we're telling you about it so you can be thinking yeah. about, like the hand motion, thinking, I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Thinking about what you want. Caitlin's had this opportunity to think and she's sharing now. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to clarify. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> so I have it's a preview. This is a preview of what I've been thinking about doing. So I have been thinking about doing, um, learning how to weave for a while now, and I actually bought some supplies a while ago that I have done absolutely nothing with. I think I which is did, this is perfect. right, right, totally. So um, uh, I've been thinking about doing sort of mini weavings, and I've watched a few YouTube. Um, channels about it and um our well, there's a local um store called one 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 thousand um that has um beautiful supplies from all different makers and they um make these mini looms and they make them in these fun colors so that's just so that, um do they have an online business they do one one thousand they do i'll link it yeah on the show um notes. so um this kit is a kit um, comes with all the sort of extra things you need. I have no idea. You know, this is to help move the weaving, and then these are different. They're not coffee stirring. No, but there's. I just love the color. They have them in all different fun colors, and then there's a little ring to sort of help. Yes, it's your color. Yeah. yeah. It was very hard for me to decide which color to get. Anyway, so um, this is a super fun little kit. I mean, I think oh it was pretty God. reasonably priced. I know that's, I know. Do you remember when we all had perms and we had picks? Do you remember I that? I never used a pick. Oh, I did. I don't think oh, so. Oh, man. Oh. Thanks, Kate. Look at that. Thanks. Anyway, and then when she gets out of line, I can just mm -hmm. poke her. We're going to have, um, also, can I say what I'm excited about, too? Uh, yes, I think you should definitely say what you're excited about. I'm going to give Caitlin an opportunity to say it. But... Melissa Jenkins, who yes. oh. taught you how to weave initially, right? No. Didn't you she, take a class? No, her? I never took her class. I didn't. Oh. I wasn't able to work it out. But yes, oh. our our friend Melissa, who's a beautiful Melissa jewelry Jenkins. designer, and also she does beautiful weavings, yes. um, mostly wall hanging weavings, and um, she's taught a few classes. But she's going to join. Well, yeah, she's going to join us on the podcast in January. And bring um, some of her weaving, yeah, some of her just knitting, talk and about, some of her earrings, yeah, and just so. talk about. Talk about that one. Yeah, us. I think but your response has been so strong to having Sally and Lily on our podcast that we're happy to bring other people. So if you have suggestions of yeah. people you want to see or yeah. whatever. Absolutely. But anyway, Melissa, we're excited. So cool. Every time we're like, Melissa, can you just bring your jewelry so we can just show? She says that um, you know people definitely reach out to her after they see our podcast. Mm -hmm. And we don't wear her jewelry as a promotion. We absolutely love her jewelry. Mm -hmm. um, so we just, yeah. you know. We saw her at the market yesterday, and I wasn't wearing her earrings, and I knew I'd be seeing her, and I'm like, well, these, I mean, not that she puts that pressure on us at all. I no, had this to, is Jackie's I, I know, this I literally Jackie. had Oh, to my go, God, I don't have her earrings on. I know, I had to go, I want to wear these earrings. And you and probably were apologizing. If we had enough yeah, time, you would apologize. apologize. Melissa, I'm so sorry I'm not wearing yeah. your earrings. Yeah. And on Wait, my, so you're going to talk about, oh. Well, I was just going to say, I love this cow, so thank you, ladies. A long time ago... I wanted to do this kind of, um, you know, mending, the yeah. Japanese mending. Yeah. Didn't get around to it. So yeah, we actually hoping... had set aside a day to do it yeah. and it fell apart. So. Yeah, so I'm hoping, that's what I'm hoping yeah. to take on. So if there's some... So she go mending. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. If there's some project, I mean, that involves learning a new skill, it might be um, speaking on your iPhone. No, that's probably not. That doesn't qualify. It has no. to be a little more crafty than that. Yeah, maybe you could dance some dance moves but um and there's no you don't have to finish it to um the yeah. project to be able to be part of this it's just really inspiring people to just try something new and yeah, i think sure, we'll be yeah. inspired by other people and the other the other one i debated is um i really want to do um needle punching mm -hmm. and i love um is it book who mm -hmm. she has some beautiful kits and um that's what I should have told you to tell James for Christmas. Mm, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, yeah. But needle punching is one of those things I've been wanting to try. The um, grocery girls um, took her class. It was right? Grocery girls? Did they, um, or was Melissa, it Melissa took it. Oh, Melissa. Um, From this past Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I think 
the grocery girls do too though but oh, anyway okay that's that's the other thing I was debating but sure I'm try to leave you maybe I'll do both um, yeah, so don't don't look for anything really to go yeah. up until January, and it's January to February. Yeah, we do is, post something in our in our feed, I and think. it's fun because it's a lot of different makers. Or um, so there are people involved that we know already, like mm -hmm. um, Earth Tones Girl is participating, and obviously Cocktail Hour by the Coop. But there are people that we haven't met yet, and you maybe you know, or podcast you haven't seen. Yeah, so it's an opportunity. And we'll post who those folks are. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to checking them out, too. Oh, I know. Right. Yeah, yeah it's just great to expand our, our yeah. little maker world. Yes. Right? Yes. So, so works in pro should we talk about? Yes, we're going to talk about uh, our work in progress. Oh, I have another finished object, though. So do I. So oh, all right, sure. that? Sure. Why? What do you want to do? No, do it. Do it. Finished object. Okay. Go well, for it. Um, so oh, I, that's right. Yeah. It's so good. I had so leftover good. yarn from this sweater, and I just was you know, I don't know if you ever fall in love with your yarn that you're working with, and when a project's over, you're so happy the project's over, but maybe you're not ready to give up the yarn. That was me. Mm. Um, so I knit, I'll put it on, but I knit um, the Everyday Slouchy Beanie um, by Dragon Horde um, with my leftover yarn. Um, Ritual dies. So I absolutely love, love, love this hat. It Molly is like, turned us on to yeah, that hat. It is. It has the perfect amount of slouch. Yeah. Um, you knit it. Looks it, good on everybody. It does. I mean, we really like. Which, where are you going? I'm letting your hat oh, like. I'm gonna take it to you. Anyway, it's um similar construction to Jackie's um, neck band. It's um, three inches um, and then you um, purl and and um, turn the the. I can't speak to the brim. Turn the brim. Um, and so it's a double brim. Um, and then it's just knit, 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 knit. Um, and just really easy decreases. I absolutely love this hat. I think it's unisex. Um, so one strand of um, fingering weight, one strand of mohair. Um, I mean, we could obviously knit it in DK if you didn't want to do no hair, but I love it. I love the thickness mm -hmm. of the brim oh, super, against like your saying, forehead. Super warm, yeah, right? it's beautiful. So that's okay, awesome. Right. Will you push up that blind because I can see it like right there and it's driving me crazy. Oh, thank you. Very nice. You can see what? There was like this big piece of whatever. light. Yeah, and it probably drive other people crazy too. I'm sure. Okay, so okay, now what do you want to do? I kind of want to talk about the lily along. Okay. Um. So did you bring the yarn in? I well, yeah, it's right over there. Oh. So, how could you forget oh. this magnificent sweater? This is the lily bobble sweater. Yep. By, by jo Jojo Knits, Paula. Jojo right? jo Trico. Jojo Trico. Trico. Sorry. And Paula's the designer. Paula's the designer, and our dear. Beloved Lily knit this, and we um, were so inspired that we wanted to have a Lily along. Yes. Yes. And so um, we contacted Paula, and I should have a picture on my phone here. I'll oh, take it up. Of this, what? Of, yeah, of her. Oh, do you have her photograph of her sweater in color? No, I don't have anything. Okay. So we'll talk about it while I pull it up. Yep. So um, we let um, Paula know we were going to do a, um, a lily along, and she's super excited. And then um, we reached out to um, um, Hip Knit Wool, who... Um, there's, there's her. Yep. And there's the wool that she knitted in. Yep. So she, yep, she used um, um, yarn from Hip Wool. Um, and we contacted them, and they generously donated a sweater's quantity within the same color of, um, you want to take some out, um, of the yarn. So we have an entire sweater quantity. It's called gingerbread. Oh, so perfect. Um, so the it is chunky wool. Um, let's just see what it, what the content is. It just says it's 100% okay. wool. Okay, so 100% wool and then the it's mohair. It's a Norwegian company and the yarn is from Peru. And then the mohair oh, is a so mohair beautiful. blend. Look at it. I mean, it's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. So um, so we're starting a lily along. And you want to chat yeah. about the details of how well, people so in? We'll make um, a finished object thread in Ravelry just to show off mm -hmm. everybody's lily alongs. And um, 
a hashtag on Instagram too, because why not? The Lily's Bobble Sweater is so, mm. so festive, so fantastic. We both are going to knit them. I've started. I'll She's show you started in a hers. Um, but in, but we want to kick it off. We don't. We want to kick it off by giving away the sweater quantity of yarn and a pattern. And so what we're asking you to do, there's two things you need to do, <laughs> because we definitely want to promote I love both the the manufacturer of the yarn hip mm -hmm. knits wool yep. and um, the designer on Instagram. Yep. So I'll put a post up today after this goes up on Instagram. So please follow them and you know, like the pose yeah. and all of that. And then, um, but here on Ravelry, um, what I wanted you to, or not, we're not on Ravelry. We're on we are YouTube. on Ravelry. I mean, we're currently on YouTube. <laughs> right below this, you can comment. And that's where I'm going to pull the winners from. And what I would love you to comment on, and this is what Caitlin, this is what Caitlin gets to do, um, is someone that you appreciate and why. And that will enter you in the drawing to receive this yarn. Mm -hmm. And so we should have a date. Well, so so because I don't I don't actually know what ins who was the inspiration for Paula, but Lily. Oh, <laughs> oh no. my goodness, you're gonna cry. I probably. Am. <laughs> so, um, at any rate, let I mean, and this is what I mean about micro mindfulness mm -hmm. is you just like already that was like a little flood of tears, but I can it's fine. I can just breathe for a second. Okay. Yeah. And then I just want you to notice, if you don't mind, because let's, let's just practice this, because, hey, it's this time of year. Just, like, notice if you quiet yourself for just a second. It doesn't have to be the person you most appreciate, but just someone you appreciate. Mm -hmm. And I, and then you just hold them in your attention for a moment. I tend to shut my eyes. I can't help it. So my eyes will shut. And I am thinking of Lily. And I don't want to distract you from who you might think of, but you allow yourself to just breathe and have their being with you. Mm -hmm. And do please like do that before you write down the comment. I would love it if it was like a mindful moment of mm -hmm. just reflecting on that person and what comes to you. So I have to say, like, what, <laughs> you keep I, keep, what? I want to hold it. I want to hold um, it. Like, I'm just gonna talk about Lily here mm -hmm. on YouTube, like. Not all of Lily, but just YouTube Lily. I and just look at her, like just this sweater. She's got she has such joy, mm -hmm. such um she's such a smart knitter, the way she learned the way she persists, the way she's intentional, her eagerness, her I mean, she's basic you know Well we should say too, for people who maybe are just watching now or, yeah, that's or true. the first one Maybe go back a few episodes to see when we introduce Lily. Um, but she is living in your house, and she's a brand new knitter, yeah. and she's blown everybody away with her um, right. abilities and the fact that this was her second sweater. Yeah, and she's just such a gentle, kind, loving, yes. radiant human being. So I would write below, I appreciate Lily because she's you know, and then say those yeah. things. But mostly, I just want, I want to give we want to give you this yarn mm -hmm. and but also give everybody who's a participating a chance to just drop into a little place of love for something yeah. well and what's really nice about the comments is they're public comments so anybody can scroll through and see what people have written so it's it's very it's, it's filling to spreads, read all yeah joy joy joy, joy. and yeah. that's what you yeah. know and knitting spreads joy um but Beyond Community. our product, it's us human beings behind the knitting. Mm -hmm. So let me just be really boring and, and articulate. So there'll be a post on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know, please like it and follow the two makers because we want to support them for donating the pattern yes. and the yarn. That's yes. very important. We want to support and them. And we're so grateful And we for are that. so yep. grateful and it's so exciting. And that, and you know... Paula, thank you for yeah. offering your design and Hip Knit Wool. Thank you for so generously sharing your yarn with us. And then here on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe, that kind of standard stuff. But the comments are how we'll enter you in the giveaway. And just take a moment to think about somebody you appreciate and why. And we are will be limiting the the prize winner oh. for um, yes viewers in the United States and Canada. I yes. think international shipping is just really um, 
<laughs> huge investment. So um, sorry for that part, but um, we we will send it out to anybody within that that area. So. But, but if you just want to enter your appreciations, yeah, please do right, that too. Right. Just let us know, cause yeah. yeah. Um, and that is and we the, should we should have a date so to run it through. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. that's should true. we run it through the end of December? Yeah, okay. yeah. Let's just have December. till the end of the month, thirty first, and we'll yeah. yeah. We could even announce the winner on our next event that we're going yes. to have. Yeah. Yes. So you have the whole month to, to watch this and get that yeah. going, and then yeah. you'll have something to and look forward to. And then we'll get the yarn out right away. Mail. So, um, But, you know, nice and knit, those girls, yeah. they knit one already. Katie and Kara. Yes. Yep. And, um, and Caitlin's working yes. on it right now. So okay. she, the designer already has a hashtag yep. that says Lily's Bobble Sweater. You could follow that mm -hmm. hashtag. We're not going to do a post sweater um giveaway we're no but we're just all knitting them together caitlin and i have some good news though that we are we we are going to vogue knitting live. yes mm -hmm. so we hope to in new york city in new york city uh so we hope to both have i don't know about me okay but she will for sure have a lily's bobble sweater done by yes. then and if if you're there and you want to meet up and take a picture yeah let oh, us that know would be yeah fun and just spread some love for this fantastic yeah. design yeah and um, so yeah, when Lily was on last time wearing it, I had one of those like flip out moments. So afterwards, I tried it on, and you tried it on, yes. and we had just sort of a Lily's bobble sweater love fest. Yes. And I just, I don't know that I've ever felt so strongly about any design. Like I have to do like wow. right away. Yeah. Um, and I had in my mind this color that's just I don't know if you if viewers are like this, but. Sometimes colors get in my head like this green. I was looking for the perfect green. So I've had this for sort of... For a year. Yeah. Oh, for a year for this color, for sure. And then as soon as I saw it, I knew it. Like it was... Didn't even have to think about it. Um, but I, in my head, had this idea of a color that I wanted. So I had been searching and searching and searching online. You know, all different indie dyers to just sort of figure it out. And then I landed on it. So, um, so I landed on... I've already wound up all the mohair, but... Um, um, La Bien Aimé. Um, oh and, my goodness. Yeah, and, um, and the oh, Caitlin. <laughs> so beautiful. Oh my And in this, this light, it's very so dark. This is regal. It really is. This is um, Madeline um, colorway, and mm. it's, uh, I did, I'm doing it on DK, um, and then stranding with, with strand of mohair, and this is also um, the same colorway. Yeah. Um, and you can just see it just oh has these, God. just, the color is just incredible. It's erotic, that color. Yeah, Jackie. Sorry, I have to keep her from touching it. Um, <laughs> Um, but Stunning. it has just it, it has just like deep black in it and plum and I, I I don't know I flipped out when it came in the mail I bought it from Tolt um, which is a, a little yarn store in big yarn store big well L Y S but um, oh. in Washington State and um, and it's hard to order yarn online like I looked on like several different sites for the same colorway just to see and you know it's a risk and it came in the mail and I was like oh. I, I did put something in my story of basically my yarn baby came and I was like my, mm -hmm. my daughter mm -hmm. Isabella was home and she's like you just love that yarn I'm like I do I love how color though mm -hmm. it always changes depending on the light or depending on what colors are this, next though. to it, or the time of day, oh. or whatever. So the fact that this, like right there, yeah. different color yeah. than when we put it right yeah. here, but that's always going to be the case. Right. There it's isn't not flat. Like, there's no one color of no. a color. It has no. many colors. Yes. So I am absolutely in love, and I cast it on right away. So um, I'm doing it a little bit lighter weight than the pattern calls for. The pattern really calls for Aaron with an additional strand of mohair. So I'm doing DK mohair, so I did swatch. Uh, oh, and I want to, before I show what I've done, I do want to show my swatch. What did I do with it? Um, I had a swatch. Oh, here it is. So I I was a little bit worried that my, the gauge would be off, and Lily's is pretty, um, it's pretty chunky. I mean, it's a chunky sweater. Um, and mine definitely won't have that feel. So I had an extra skein of um, La Bienname DK at home and some mohair. And so I did a little bit of a swatch. 
It's obviously not the color I'm using, but I just brought it to show you, like, look at the drapiness of it. And it's so soft. Oh. Um, so I, mine is definitely going to have more drape than Lily's version. Um, Lily's was the Pearl Soho Cashmere Merino you know, mm -hmm. Soft Twist with Molly from the Homespuns. That was mohair. Mohair. Yeah. Silk mohair. Um, so I, I did a gauge swatch and this one actually was knitting around. That's why these ends because you knit it so around and I did, I know I did, I wet blocked it. So, Wait, but when you have that much of an investment of yeah. lobby on a May yarn and I, I absolutely that. needed to make sure it was right. So I did go down a needle size. So I'm knitting it on nines and I got gauge with that. Um, and the pattern calls for tens. So I, I just flipped out though when I, I don't think I've ever really wet blocked a swatch before. And, you know, it is kind of necessary if you want to pretty much know that it's going to not grow. And it is super wash merino. So did, what, will... did the gauge change before you, did yes. you measure it? Yeah, I, yeah, but I, I sort of, yes, it definitely grew. Hmm. So, um, so that was helpful to know and it bloomed. So that was important. So anyway, so I have made a lot of progress on my sweater. I just yesterday, this is going to be a... I can help you. Uh, um, I just, um, it's knit from... Um, bottom up and so you knit the sleeves separately and it blow, um, it's blowing up yeah it really is up it's probably accurate there um, and then so you knit bottom up to below the armpits and then you knit the sleeves separately this and then you like join the RBG yeah exactly um, so I've just joined and I just started the first bobble row so that's pretty exciting. So, you know, from here up, it's going to get smaller and um, and it hopefully will go pretty fast. I, the wow. first row of bobbles probably took yeah, take at least time. an hour yeah. or more. Um, um, well, how's the, it's a knit bobble and it's how a many knit stitches? So it starts off with um, six stitches, a six stitch bobble. And then you have a couple, you know, inch or so in between. And then you do the next set of bobbles. Let's show it on hers. And the bobbles get... Um, smaller as you go up oh, it's so, so cool. you can see and the decreases are I haven't gotten to the decreases yet but they are it is brilliant because the decreases are hidden behind the bobbles so once you're going up oh, here nice. so that's a nice feature of that mm -hmm. um, anyway so I hope to have this done my goal is to have it for Christmas so a nice. week and I think that's potentially doable um mm. but again the color is just i will so say fantastic. i just want to say the bobbles took lily a long time yeah so don't, i would yeah i know right like I new mean, years might be more. yeah that's true we'll see well i have a lot of, i'll be driving to tennessee oh, so that's true. 11 hours that's true. in the car of driving true. um so um anyway but that this is where I'm at. I can't say enough about this pattern. I am just beyond excited for this. So stay tuned. Well, I don't have much. So I have, um, oh, I have some very fun silk mohair from Cake Wool. Oh. That I. Hi, Alyssa. Hi. <laughs> we met Alyssa at Rhinebeck and. Yeah, I mean. I had to spend some time with her. Her, her. Company is oh. so fun. Yeah. The what are the, all the check your t-shirt? Yeah. Well, my t-shirt's in the wash because oh. I've already washed it. There. What the this is called cream, right? The silk. There's like yeah. So cream, all butter, everything sugar, is. I don't yeah. know. It's all cake baking themed. related. Yeah. And her colors are so. I don't. They're very insouciant and fun mm -hmm. and delightful. Kind of like. Well, and she's really interesting and, and really interesting bases too. Yeah. They're really so, unique. Oh, it's so, so the, gorgeous. It's super gorgeous. And the thing that I'm, the, the hesitation I have is just do I want to, should this, would this be better on a simpler design than the Lily's Bobble Sweater? So yeah. I don't know, and but I do have this, and I will make a swatch and play around and see. Yeah, but I'm not sure yet. I mean, I'm absolutely sure I love this, but you know how it goes. Um, so far, I've seen the Lily's Bobble sweaters in solids. And yeah. I don't want to lose the bobble no, right. design. So, I'm not sure. But So, this is called Blush Exposed. Mm. Mm, that couldn't be any more perfect for you. <laughs> so, hers is 72% kid mohair, 28% silk. Yeah. Um, oh, and this is really generous. I wanted to mention this, too. This is generous yardage. Um, it's 459 yards. Mohair, you usually get some really decent mar um, yardage. The, one of the oh, things I wanted speckles. to say about the La Bienna May mohair is the yardage is un. Oh, where's my? Um, it's over 500 yards. 
Um, so even though it's a, an investment, um, it's, it's nice that you can go a long way with, with their mohair, but the cake yarn, it needs a good sit of more. Mm. Mm. Look at that color. Mm -hmm. She's really talented. Mm -hmm. Alyssa, we love you. Yes. <laughs> um, yes. So check out her website. We'll oh, link it below. Yes. Um, she so did, Her aesthetic is just beautiful. It and is. she's a lovely individual. And um, you should support Charming, her. Charming, yes, witty, yes. delightful. Yes, so, absolutely. Love, and she has adorable t-shirts. So like this yellow. Yes. Really so I got one of the t-shirts. We'll wear it next time. It. Yeah. And, oh, so I have a Christmas project too. A Christmas sweater that I wanted to share. I we all loved, right? We all loved the gray sweater. It came out in the spring by Denise Byron. Byron, there it is. Mm -hmm. And it's in the Quince and Co. Puffin, I think it's called. So um, that's it. And so beautiful detail. It's oh, well, you made progress. Yeah. Here's the. It's puffin. Quince and Co. Puffin. It's chunky yarn, three stitches to the inch or 2.5 stitches up to the inch on a 13. So that's fun. This is no, look at that. it. I plan to make, it was funny. No, I want to, well, I want to look at that. Oh, so sorry. It's okay. So here it is. Um, the model's so tall. And when I was looking on Ravelry, oh, so dense. I want to make it three quarters sleeve. I've seen a lot of people not have it three quarters sleeves. But, and I wonder, I have the picture, okay. Oh, it has such a great squish factor. See, I love, I love where the sleeves fall on her. So I want mine to fall up there too. Yeah, it's just, just a simple design. So anyways, this was just cast, I mean, you know, she said, you can definitely finish this by Christmas. Mm -hmm. So I cannot wait. I think it's adorable. I can actually fit this on over my head right now, but mm -hmm. I don't think I will. Oh, so fun. It's a great color on you. Thank you. So I'm very yeah. excited to knit this. And what color is it? Um, I think it's called something fairy. Oh, Peaks Fairy Peaks 132. Fairy. Mm -hmm. So anyways, that is, okay. that's my plan for a Christmas sweater um, as well. And that's doable. Yeah, I think that's doable. Yeah. Whew. I know, <laughs> pausing. We okay. have... Um, we do have other things to I know. Um, I think I'll wait to show some of these things. Wait for what? Oh, you mean like another podcast? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh -huh. I thought you meant like when Lily Did and you Sally. see those facial no, expressions? I was, well, I was like, what you mean like for when Lily and Sally get here? Though. Yeah, no, because we, ha we have... Well, let's tell them about just in the middle of the podcast. It's so funny. Some of you will see this. Some of you won't. Some of you have already gone off to have breakfast. But not everybody's washing this in the morning. That's true. Some of you have gone off to have Oreo, an Oreo break, and you are my soulmates. But at any rate, here's what I want to talk about. The end of the year, there's a lot of opportunity for knitters to reflect, and they oftentimes, you know this, on Instagram, they'll put up how many, you know, they'll put up a grid of their nine favorite sweaters of the year, or maybe some people did a make nine 2019, and they'll reflect on that, or they'll mm -hmm. plan one for the next year and we've seen some really fun videos lately um of people showing all of their knits mm -hmm. and whatnot and last year what we decided to do and we're going to do it again this year is a bingo ball mm -hmm. that we host live on youtube and we will we haven't put them in yet but we put in bingo boards that you'll see last year's it was fun because a group of knitters played already this year with our previous year's bingo boards. So the categories are things like something you stranded with mohair and you know and you get a you get to put down a, a, a marker yeah. and go bingo and then we'll have a giveaway, you know, for anyone who has a bingo. So So whether you play with us live or you watch it afterwards, we'll yeah. have the window open for a little bit. And then basically we had people um, comment below all the things they got the bingo. So we can know what, right. you know, not that we're checking up on you, but we'd love to know right. what it is that you were knitting that, that got you bingo. Yeah, so. so it's all your knits and experiences mm -hmm. from 2019 right. are what the boards are based on. So I will make those, and you'll find those boards. They're not there at the second. Yeah. But you'll find those boards under Caddy Jack's Bingo Ball 2019, and 
we'll have them, and then we'll let you know. You'll have, like, on YouTube? No, they're on Ravelry. Oh. you got to have it on Ravelry, because yeah. then they can download the PDF sure. or whatever. And I make several boards, so you can play along with yeah. your friends or whatever, and it's fun. Yeah. And So we'll set the date. We're just, we have some things we're trying to navigate in terms of the date, um, but we'll give people. Or right around the New Year's mm -hmm. when we're going to, yeah. where we'll do it, and uh, we look forward. And at that time, we can show, you know, we can have our year in review and show all the things and experiences and and, right. and you can have it yeah. too like that's the fun thing yeah we we saw um um for those of you that follow skein cocaine um the they she has a podcast with her friend katie for and they do it's called the yarn therapist and they uh they did a whole preview of their the all their knits and it was just so fun to watch mm -hmm. and see how you know some things that we've all had in our cues or been wishing mm -hmm. you know to knit and see it on somebody else like an actual body was really helpful yeah. and fun. So we thought we would. My so-called handmade life did that with her entire knitting life. Whoa, that was a workout, and I think it was like two hours. It was wow. like watching War and Peace or something like <laughs> that. Funny. It was very long. Um, it's a good thing to knit too. It is. We um, so we take it easy on ourselves and we just play bingo. Um, if if you want to see them all tried on in one of those videos, maybe. But it's just like, it'll mess up our hair. Oh. Just kidding. But, you know, I'm not kidding, right? Just no, kidding. It's fine. I do, sorry, um, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. But anyways, then we'll have a prize for that, too. So that's fun. Yeah. And But, you know, the year in review, I mean, thank you for spending this time yeah. with us. We'll keep thanking you. It's been it's, a great year. Oh, it's such a joy. Yeah. It really is such a joy. And, you know putting up with whatever it is, you know. I mean, I hope we have some good knitting content. I know we have some pauses where we just look into Caitlin's face as she goes, what are you doing now, Jackie? <laughs> exactly. I didn't say it out loud. So, do you have anything more to say before we segue to Lily and uh, Sally time? Because we can talk so. about Jamie's oh, right. garment yeah. when, when they're on. No, that's all I got. Okay, so we'll be yeah. back there. You know, squatting in the background, heckling. <laughs> I love heckling and squatting. Yeah, you're... <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so all right. thanks, and we'll thank you again all okay. together. Yeah. All right, okay. <laughs> Bye. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. That's Caitlin down there. <laughs> Hi. She's Can you see me? She's blowing <laughs> out. No, she's not. I see her sort of <laughs> jump no. out the window. No, you can yeah. see her. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna just do half my face. Oh Look my at gosh, that. No, no, don't come over. No, I'm over, come over here. Sally. Okay, okay. There. we're all in. We're all, we're all in. in. All right. Okay, who are you, Sally? I'm Sally. I'm Jackie's mom, <laughs> and Caitlin's adopted mom. Yes. Well, Cynthia's off. You know, but Cynthia's yeah. Santa Fe. Yeah. Yeah. Santa Fe, and you know, doing all that. Oh, good stuff. and there was a yawn caught on camera. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Lily's tired. All right, let's all do a posture check, everybody. Okay. Okay. Posture yeah. check. We put ourselves in like. Whoop, boop. Not that I'm commenting oh, on that, that. Oh, but I think it's our... good. I, yeah, we're I filling cool. up the screen well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's good to Elbow be here. Elbow room, and we all get to sit on hard surfaces. Yep. This is mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Okay, have you said who you are yet? No, I'm Lily. I'm back again. I'm also going to admit up front I've got the sniffles. She okay. has the sniffles. Mm -hmm. keep, your, okay. keep your distance. Yeah, that works. <laughs> that works. All right, we're going to make this short and sweet. Yep. So that Lily can get back to resting and Caitlin can have breakfast and I can keep bossing everybody around as I, I really want to and do. We have Jamie down there making, making she breakfast. Is. breakfast. Jamie's but making But the pancakes, pancakes need to rise for 20 minutes. So we've Should we plenty. show Jamie's sweater? Yeah, while let's we're show rising. Jamie's sweater. I'll hold one, one armpit and you hold the other. She's in process. She's now on Sleeve oh. Island. You might have seen this on the dress form earlier. You know what? Somebody needs to put it on. Who wants to put it on? I'll do it. Oh, okay. okay. Awesome. Like, Please don't make me put another layer of sweater on. I'm dying here. <laughs> this dying. is um, We have the window open. It's 20 degrees. This okay. fabulous yarn. Ooh, stay standing. Oh. Yep, stay standing. Okay. So... Does anybody know what it is? Isn't didn't she say it was Georgetown. Hannah Fettig? Hannah, Hannah Fettig's Georgetown. Oh my gosh, and it feels and it, amazing. Oh, yes. yes, she's gonna get petted a lot. Yeah, when she gets. And this. then so do you want to rotate? I mean, oh yeah, just a little bit. This is Pro Soho. Yep, right here. Mm -hmm. Cashmere. Um, cashmere merino blend. Mm -hmm. Something like that. And what's like the that. color? <clears throat> Twenty-eight. 
25% cashmere, 75% in its wheat flour, and she needs to bind off more loosely, so she's going to unpick yeah. that and go to town. Doesn't that feel magnificent? I love it. Now, she did with make this yarn stay before. up till 1 o'clock while she had the unveiling of the binding. And you so stayed up that late? We did. We did. were up until Holy 1 o'clock because she's been, you know, one row after another, and it was... She had, and she will freely admit, she thought she knew better, and instead of doing the bind-off, she missed one word in the bind-off, which was in rib. Bind-off loosely in rib. Oh, I told her to do that. I know that. you did, but she didn't. No, I think she did do it, and she didn't like the way it looked. She yeah. started it, and then she thought, oh, I don't mm. like how this looks, yeah. but she hadn't noticed that that's what she was supposed to do. Mm. So where say. she would follow the pattern, she wasn't necessarily going to listen to Jackie. But bless her heart, she will have this done today. Maybe. Mm -hmm. and the bind off. Lily the has volunteered very nicely. Oh, this is nice. Her Christmas mm -hmm. present to Jamie, one of yeah. them is. And birthday. And birthday. I think it was her first birthday, but it'll probably end. Okay, but Christmas. tell them what you're going to be doing. I'm going to pick up her sleeves for her and knit the short rows up at the sleeve cap. And then she'll pick up from there and did the rest. Wow. Amazing. She wow. just doesn't wow. want to do this part. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Understandable. That's amazing. Yeah, that's that's cool. so sweet. And it'll be a learning experience mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you did, but you've done short rows before. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you, I'm curious, in the bobble sweater, did you follow the directions and do Japanese short rows? Um, I did exactly as it says. Okay. Yeah. yeah. With the little markers. Did you use the marker? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That took some figuring out for me. Yeah. But Caitlin's going so quickly on her list. You're my inspiration. No, Caitlin's Coming is along. gorgeous. Oh. We've launched our Lily bobble along today. That's so exciting. Yes. Everyone will have bobble sweaters. Yes. Yes. And bobble then. sweaters and sparkly boots, right? Oh, oh. shoe cam. Lily, yeah. what do you yeah. got? Here oh, are my new boots. Ooh, can, oh, you can see the sparkle. Oh, are. yeah. <laughs> So good. Tell them what kind they are, so if anybody they're, wants to follow along. They're Doc, like Doc Martens. Martens. Yep. They've got this, um, excuse me, they've got this little <laughs> zipper on the side, so oh. you don't even have to untie them. Oh, that's, that's nice. Brilliant. So I'm going to wear these the rest of my life. <laughs> and <laughs> tell them what happened at the holiday market yesterday. Oh, yes. Oh. Lily this caused very, a stir. Yes, this very fancy, Handsome. very well-known spoon carver stopped me, and he said, don't mind me telling you this, but I love your boots. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yes. thank you. Yes, yeah, so in the middle of a it's crowd. Very of mm -hmm. Really? He yes. didn't stop you to tell you that? That's yeah. Horrible. yeah. He like yeah. called me out. Showstopper. And that thing was crowded. So uh, but, that was But so those fun. boots, you know, they're they're they stopped for, the show. Mm -hmm. Even shopping. in a crowd. Yeah. And I have to say, at the at the holiday market, yes. I adored meeting Melissa Jenkins. Yay! That was so I love fun. Melissa Jenkins. She is so mm -hmm. sweet. I love yeah. her. She yeah. invited you to come to our knit-alongs, right? Yeah, and her birthday knit-along. Yeah, yeah, so that's so fun. Either. We'll be there. Nice. Yes. Hooray! Mm -hmm. So, what should we talk about? Who's got some... Who's got some knitting they want to share? Oh, okay. Well, I'm Sally? Gonna, yes, I've got some knitting. Mm -hmm. Um, And... Ooh. There. <laughs> we could hand things to you. I suppose you could. Let me hold Just me. make sure I don't drop them. Okay. Anyway, I have stopped my sweater that is behind us. The Which boho, is what? It's the boho um, mosaic cardigan, and I'm having a blank it's in my bag it'll be in the show notes it's actually right here jackie if you can <laughs> tell i'm me. gonna read it yeah if you can just say who it by irene lynn irene lynn she's got a fabulous instagram Ooh. she does she's got many gorgeous and the big debate is what color do you want to do the cowl can you move your head yeah. just a dash so okay. people can see the sweater so, so she's just about to do this part right Right, I have to pick up and do the, you know, the neck edge and the whole front. They see it now. And huh? so what I'm trying to decide is, and you can you can vote on this, do I want it to be that, the shelter, or do I want it to be the Quince and Company yeah. lark? The body part. The body part. And Lily I'm, and I both disagree. Okay, yeah. I'm going to vote for this. Okay. That's what I voted for. I think for. the mosaic is so 
beautiful and brilliant that your eye is mm -hmm. taken away from that if you do a contrasting color. Just my thought. Mm -hmm. And you but can give you your can... reasoning. Yeah. Well, oh, I just thought she'd want a color the that wasn't skin colored right onto her skin. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's what shawls are for. Yeah. Oh. See how... oh. <laughs> just kidding. Yes. No, but see, and we yeah. did, because I made a mistake when I picked it up and I did a few rows in shelter. Can I see the pattern? Oh. Um, and other people on, on Ravelry have done it with a, with a contrasting. Did it, actually, if, hmm. it actually looked nice. I'd like to, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, I could also see doing one edge of color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like just, a just eye cord binder right. or well, something. I mean, you've got sort of a rolled, yeah, oh. and maybe just have it be in the dream the body color, the, and then, yeah, yeah. And then, this, and, and then, then just a little edge. Oh, of that it. would be nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I, think, I think your eyes would be drawn to yeah, that at least. But it I mean, would be just... I, think, I like. I mean, I I do think what you're saying is is important mm -hmm. that skin skin to skin yeah. color, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, like I think maybe a, one row and then yeah. cast off in it as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. and all of you can comment on below here too because I'm yeah. I'm really I'm really um, tw I can't. It fits you so nicely too, but I guess we'll wait to see yeah. the yeah. fitting yeah, when you're actually get... done. The debut. Right. Mm -hmm. So anyway, for me, this I interrupted doing that because I put it in a timeout while I was thinking about it, mm -hmm. and then I made a shawl, um, a gift shawl, which has already been given away, and but finished. But you posted it on your I did. On it's your posted Instagram. on Instagram and Ravelry. It's the lovely Julie Aslin, yeah. Aslin yeah. Charlotte color. Lazio TK. Oh, yeah. So you can Gorgeous. see it there. And those were left, that was left over. Yeah, I had. Another yeah, you got that from Firefly Fiber. Right? Firefly Fiber, and I just loved it. And it. I made it into just a solid... Um, color of that and and then it's it's wrapped around a very dear person right now and um, so that felt good to get it done get it on the needles and accomplished in a week's time for a certain anniversary mm -hmm. anyway so that one's gifted and then I've also taken I think I talked about this but I'm also doing gift knitting I'll hold this one for some people oh. that also have to go without being talked about. Um, oh, they don't watch. This. Oh, they don't watch it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So this is the Courage Shawl by So Very Shannon. And I had made it in the beautiful fall colors last time I think mm -hmm. I had that on. And there's two women, Bonnie and Barb, who are the facilitators, group leaders for the Courage to Teach um, retreats that Jamie and Jackie have both been involved in many years. And this last one, they're both the girls are going to it. And it's over four weekends, and the, the women are just wonderful. They're retiring. This is their last time of doing it. So when talking with Jamie about what could we do that would be special for them, um, the Courage Shawl just popped up because Courage to Teach. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so I'm making this one for Bonnie in the warm colors. And it has, Jackie gifted me the, well, I mean, she's... The nightshades. Also, the nightshades and cinder. Cinder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then it has the shell, the Brooklyn Tweed Shelter... Um, postcard? Mm -hmm. Postcard, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's just the Can we bring it up closer to right. see the... And then, of course, Dream State Heart mm. Sigh in you know i have two different mm, so um, balls of that going or skeins of that going because they're so different one's much more solidly red and the other one has a lot of oranges and so anyway <laughs> i love this Floating and hat. so then for barbara i'm going to make the same shawl but it's going to be in the cool color so i'm going to run it with the i mean i'll show that next time but it's going to be run with the dream state in uh has gray and a beautiful navy blue, and then it's going to run with the dream state. More jewel greens and blue colors. The family jewels, I think is what it's called. The family <laughs> jewels. It's not <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> not that, but anyway. So as I was... Pause, pause. I just want to say nightshades also. Firefly. Firefly oh, fiber oh. now. And oh, didn't we all oh. just immediately want to cast down? Yes. The Andrew Maury right. cardigan just, in this? Yeah, what is that called? 
Jenny. 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 Yeah, and yeah. we just, I mean, it's if gorgeous. I didn't have a navy, black and navy, you know, have that sewed mm -hmm. in the lobby and the main, mm -hmm. I would have like, boom. Yeah. But I'm giving it a pause. But it's such a magnificent shawl yeah. collared belt oh, and I'm sorry. And um, Elisa Firefly Fiber still has That's stock. All there. She has yeah. nightshade, so oh. she can ship it out to you. Mm -hmm. And don't ask for the Hades colorway, <laughs> by the way. It's an inside joke. Um, yes, yeah, yes, it's okay. an inside joke because I was looking Should over all them? the different yeah. shades, and on my phone, we were we were shopping in the store, mm -hmm. and you were home texting us what you wanted. I want Hades. Hades. I want Hades. It's a Hades, Hades color. It kept coming up on you know the little square. The end of nightshades. <laughs> Yeah, and hop to the next line so it looked like that was the name of the color. Yes, and that would be perfect. I know. Well, I mean, yeah, they it should would have be a one. Good, yeah, so right. from Harrisville, like, if you're listening. Yes, yeah. Hades. But anyway, I can't even remember what, what the colorway color. was. But yeah. but then when I was, I like to show for Sally Journey Quilts, they actually go the other direction, and there's two of them. I know, I'm doing one um, at a time. Is this adequate? These, yeah. these are there's Lily. the I, resistance, <laughs> one and two. And okay. they just go, they went so nicely with the curried shawl. So I thought I would put these up. These are in the Etsy shop. Mm -hmm. And this has got that absolutely gorgeous vintage um, Japanese fabric that looks like a parking lot practically or a road. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But anyway, in this, there's the, there's the flaws in the fabric, the little holes. It, you know, it's just one of my treasures. It was given to me by... Jane Antonovich, who, you know, she That's dropped cute. by the remnants of a mending project. She mm. had a jacket nice. shortened, and so that's what inspired these. Anyway, they're at Sally Journey Quilts in my Etsy shop, and should be sure to check oh, that out. We'll, yes. We will uh, link that below, too. And Sally's going to be the artist in residence at my school for oh, Fine Arts Week. Did really? You know oh, I didn't know yeah, that. She'll be spending two days with us and <laughs> oh, sharing exciting. quilting with the students. Oh, it's so nice. Yeah. Oh, so that's a fantastic. They're going to love that. Oh, that's oh, going to be so much so fun. fun. You can you can pop in there with me. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. I need an assistant. There yeah. you go. So that would be fun. Make a day of it there, and you know we yeah. can have lunch with Kate. Yeah. 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 <laughs> fun. So I just, before I turn it over to Lily, yeah, I just want to say I still get just rave reviews whenever I wear Andrea Mowry's Night Shift shawl oh, yeah. it's out. So I mean, I just love it. This is just a genius pattern because you can just have such creative fun with Dream State spin cycle yarns. Oh, yeah. Just in and out. In and out. I mean, it's just, it's mm -hmm. so fun. I want to pick up another one when I get done with that and just have my way with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Do you, Sally? Wow. I do. Yeah, I she love does green have whole yeah. baskets and yeah. she's just whittling away. Yeah. I'm whittling away. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a hoarder. I just well, that's the thing that we forgot to mention, too. There's something, we'll mention it again. There's some something going around called Stash Down 2020. Mm -hmm. We'll talk mm -hmm. about it in 2020, but you could certainly, yeah, certainly do that. You know, mm -hmm. work on that with mm -hmm. your dreams. Oh, I look forward to it. Well, I'm mm -hmm. interested. Mm -hmm. But anyway, happy holiday to all of you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, do you want to talk about, we all got to spend a holiday together, Thanksgiving. Mm. Yeah. And that was so fun. fun. <laughs> that, that was fun. That was the greatest night ever. We had a dance party. Yeah. yeah. Yes. That was my yeah. favorite part. <laughs> we had, uh, every guest brought a playlist from their life. So mm -hmm. if you were 15, you got 15 songs. If you were 70, you got 70 songs. Mm -hmm. And we put them all on Spotify together. And they were songs that would, like, if you were on your last legs in the nursing home and they played that song, it would bring it you would back. Bring you back. Mm -hmm. You'd so start it wasn't like how cool you were. It right. was. It was like. And the only like, argument was everybody wanted more than what they were allotted. <laughs> so we opened the rules. We opened the floodgates and. We let it slide. Yeah. What do you mean? Well, they wanted more than like their eighteen-year-olds wanted oh, more did than they? eighteen. I didn't. Oh yeah. You, you didn't know that you we didn't know know changed the rules for them. I think we have like thirty-six hours of music. Yeah. And we all yeah. have it on our Spotify. Oh, but it was so fun because mm -hmm. we did. We just we were all dancing. It was mm -hmm. the best Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Well, and the food was pretty good too. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, always, I'm rumbling the, and right I know. now. I, I, can so hear, I can hear Jamie downstairs whipping, whipping the egg white. Yeah. Oh, thank God. Yeah. We promise you a pie and a. Jamie visit one of these days. Yeah. 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 
someday. Maybe when this sweater is completed. Oh, she could come on with a pie and we pie. could eat pie to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sure. Everyone, <laughs> Everyone would, would for love you. to watch us eat a decadent <laughs> Cherry pie, pie mm -hmm. pecan pie. I yeah, know. Let's, Holy, could you also tell us what your, to what your favorite pie is? I'd love to hear that. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, yes, okay. that would be fun. Mm -hmm. When we have that event, well, we'll, we'll, have 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 a we'll have a favorite pie, pie event. Mm -hmm. comment. Yeah, but mm -hmm. save, save, save the Save that date. for then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but Lily, I, I, I do need to say she is my pecan pie ally. Yeah. So oh, I love pecan pie. Well, so Jamie will you. ever make me what? pecan pie. What? So Why? now yeah, that Lily oh, yeah, for Christmas. Yeah. But yeah. she has made. She has, but, but her issue is that the crust. Oh. Sticks to the bottom when you add well, the chocolate and the bourbons. So we gotta bourbon. figure that out. If you have a really oh. good chocolate bourbon pecan pie, Meg, by the way, yeah, yeah. Recipe, hey. yeah. please send it our way because yes. we are desperate. Yes, desperate women. And one other thing, can you tell them what else we made with pecans? We made Mexican wedding cookies. Ooh, those are my favorite cookies. Are there any still here? Oh no, no. but we can they make them. Very long. Mm -hmm. They went those down. Where did you take too. them? They are? Yeah, I oh love my those. Gosh. Yeah. Well, we'll make some. Okay. What what do you where have? did they end up the Mexican going? Mexican wedding oh, cakes. Wedding cookies. Most mm -hmm. of them ended up at the dorm. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. That's <laughs> nice. Does he like them? Oh, yeah, he loved them. Oh, oh very good. Nice. Very good. Yeah. And they're healthy. They have nuts in them. They're healthy. They have pecans in them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> get your protein, friends. Right. Oh, yeah. dear. <laughs> okay. All right. And they're easy. Oh, yeah. Okay, so does Lily, the Lily, Lily hour. Lily, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. The moment you've been waiting for. Drum what roll. has Lily been doing? Yay! Yay! It's Which Lily time! Which 16 sweaters do you want to I show know. us? I'll show the sweater I'm All right. working on first. Okay. Oh. Okay. I am working on, I have no idea how to pronounce it, but it's a Caitlin Hunter sweater. There it is. The Koivua? Koivua? Yeah. I call it, yeah, I don't, I ignore the A and call it the Koi View, but that's, oh, not, koi, I mean, whatever. whatever. Nobody knows that. Caitlin Hunter, we love it. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> Jackie's made it before, and last time I said that I was making it out of red sock, blue sock yarn, super wash worsted, and honey, and then I had said I wanted to make it in the um, spin cycle dream state color Mississippi Marsala, but I decided to go with um, Shades of Earth. And I'm really oh, pleased. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm really oh, really. Oh, oh wait, so how just, is oh, this okay. possible? Look at her. I'm really pleased. In a week. Look at that. This is a week <gasps> of knitting. <gasps> Lily! It's Can we weeks. see your head over the top knitting. for a second? Okay. Yes. Oh. Wow. It's gonna and it, I love it fits her it's beautifully. Like a, they're like a oh. sunshine peacock. Oh, oh god. And my look goodness. at the jewel tones. Wait, there they are. Oh my god. It is just beautiful. I'm in love with it. Wow. It's in love with well, you. Well, and it just looks gorgeous on you. She <laughs> yeah. put it on. See how it changes? Yeah. Okay. And this magic. is your first color work, work sweater, right? First, yeah, color work sweater. And she has go a piece of... Go big or go home. Right? I gotta make it about me now. Okay. She has a piece of flattery, she'd like to say. <laughs> oh, okay. When I admire... <laughs> And I Are you it. see me in the background going, <laughs> yeah. I just want to make sure, because I'm kind of far okay. away. Okay. Jackie, I roll. Yeah. Jackie made this first, and when she was finished, she noticed that right here, this line of color work is supposed to be purling, but it looks so good as color work, so I kept it in mind. Yes. Oh, so you it's a modified it, and yeah. she's... I did it by accident. She did, did it, it intentionally. Purpose. That's cute. Yeah. And so I we'll be it. twins. Mm -hmm. Yes. In fact, we have a date planned where, mm -hmm. if I'm when I make my Lily Bobble sweater, I'll wear that and she'll wear this. Yes. And then I'll wear my Koi Vu and she'll wear it or whatever. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna? We could have an outfit change. Or, yeah. I could get some sparkle boots and be just like oh, yes. Lily. <laughs> we all need sparkle boots. I know. Boots. No yeah. kidding. I love them. Also, mm -hmm. these are from Firefly. These little rainbow swirl. Are stitch. those the cocoa knits? Yeah, cocoa yeah, knits. Those are so good. I want some. Oh, too. I love them. them. Can I see them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so that can you can oh, just yeah. slip them on and and you're just using that to indicate your color change. Yeah. Oh, and it on, feels so good. On it's Ravelry, so squishy. I've named it Shades of Earth, honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. It's so glorious. Yes. Wow. I am having so much fun with it. And so, is there anything that's been what's been the biggest challenge for you with it? Don't say nothing. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep Let's it see. on camera while yeah. we talk about it. I mean, I, I think my biggest oh my issue was just having um, 
the wrong length needles. Mm. Like I had them on 60s right after I separated for sleeves. Yeah. And it was stretching everything and I was having such a oh. hard time. So then I decided to just put them on these curly 47s. Uh-huh. Mm. Have you tried great. magic looping? Yeah, she has she it. Cause she cause I haven't really learned how to do that. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. so what if my shortcomings? Yeah. Because no, you not a yeah, shortcoming. No, no, it's, it's like just a, a technique. To I, I because if you had it on a 60, yeah. you could yeah, do just that. have the cord be hanging off. And yeah. when, you, when you come to the cord, well, now, you just pull the cord. Now I'm just cruising. It's just gliding. Yeah. It's so yeah. Oh, that's so wow. gorgeous. So this yarn was a gift to Lily, this gold yarn from mm -hmm. Red Sock, Blue Sock Yarns. And so I amazing. love it. So have you tried it on along the way? Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. What size are you doing? It's a medium. Okay. I had it on just before I came up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh she was so I, it was on, on top of this. Oh, wow. Maybe she can step off the camera. Or we'll just so wait beautiful. for the next yeah, video. The big reveal. Yeah, the big yes. reveal. And I am very excited is about it, this. Is what? this, have folks seen this lovely? Or do you not want to no, show them? No, I'll show them. Okay. I'll stick this inside. Okay. And then. Our sweet, sweet friend, Margaret. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Margaret. The pianist. Hi, Margaret. She gifted me this beautiful... Oh, get that. I, I love this so much. This project bag from Anthropology. Oh, and you gorgeous. wear it everywhere. Everywhere. Yes. It's, it's like micro suede or... Oh, it feels mm -hmm. so yeah. good. And yeah. it's got this little handy pocket. I keep my red sock, blue sock yarn <laughs> gauge in there. <laughs> And oops. yeah, no, like having Lily in the house, it's like the Lily cam is on every day when she yeah, comes, comes down, down and she gets yeah. dressed, and she always has this bag. And her lately, these fabulous and shoes, her, yeah, yeah. Sparkle. Sparkle. Yes. sparkle boots. Yes, but we haven't had the same outfit twice this whole time. I like to mix it up enough <laughs> that you don't remember what I have in my closet. Yeah, no, yeah. we don't. Remember. Yeah. We don't. She just keeps. Pulling out interesting, fun things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, can I share something exciting? Yes, this piece of excitement. This yes. is so we we've rebranded our, our our this segment of the podcast. <laughs> Have we? Yes. Oh, it's called this segment. because we talked about this and decided <laughs> we, we, on this. This is a we that doesn't include Caitlin. Okay. There should be a new pronoun. Like the a we minus Caitlin. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. we love that Caitlin. would be a key or something. Anyway, yeah. we, this segment is called Lily and the Gang. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah. I love that. Lily yeah, I'll be gang. in your gang uh, anytime, yeah. Lily. So, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Yeah, the and Lily. then we can just vote Jackie off the ice. Yeah. It's, yeah. Oh, that yeah. could get yeah. really, yeah, yeah. hardcore. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Lily and the gang. I'm back. We're gonna break it. I want song. t shirts that say that. I do too. Lily and the yeah. gang. And just Pink. with like the same with black blonde. sparkly. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. With maybe black little sparkle with boots. Little sparkle yes. boots on it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I want okay. that. So now we have to share. I'm I'm gonna hold your hands free okay. to see why Lily we would be gang. called Lily and the Gang. These this company graciously gave me this kit. Is it am I testing or no, you're just no, making you're just it. knitting it. And I'm knitting and sharing. It. How wonderful this is. Yeah, we want to go up close with that picture yes. to the camera. Look how cool that is. The cable bomber. The cable bomber. And look what comes with it. You get seven, eight, or nine skeins of their crazy sexy wool. And then you get their pattern and a sewing needle. Yes. Yeah. And then all you need to find is the right needles to sew it. Yeah, they do sell the kits with the needles, so you can buy them yes. with or without. Yeah. Um, so. And they've had amazing sales all through. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, yeah there was 20% off, or I don't know if it still is. Oh, for Black well, Friday? Yeah. And yeah. Then let me the pull this down for a second. Just yes. let me put this on. Oh, Lily and the gang! <laughs> And they do oh have a colorway called it. mustard salad. They do. Yes. Oh, do yes. they? Yes. 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 That's perfect. Here is the color that I requested. And does everybody have one? Oh. Ready? Oh, oh, everyone needs one? Everyone but for needs the one. big reveal. Okay. okay. Does everybody have one? Yep. yep. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a oh, This is in wonderful. Pink. Yay. Let's, like, this could be like, synchronized, like, you know the fanning yeah, in the like, 50s? Let's just, like, you know, like a... Synchronized swimming. Like a, oh, this is so soft. We can have a soundtrack. Oh. And who cannot? Crazy, sexy mm. wool. 
Wow. Also I mean, really. At 1 1000, if you're in Madison. Yes. 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 Hopefully. <laughs> at the Good Day Shop on Monroe Street. Nice. Yeah. So, Get out. You guys know the fans that I'm talking about? Yeah, I we think do. they're burlesque fans, and to be honest. We're not doing burlesque, Jackie. <laughs> right? We're not. We, no, we, we draw the line. have voted against burlesque. <laughs> we are not. So but we have spoken. You do not <laughs> need to tune in later. I'm totally picturing them now. I'm no, sorry. Please don't. <laughs> And don't you can it. hide a lot with these. I, don't, I know. <laughs> I don't know the context. Okay, oh, it's okay. You're just so okay, me. Lily. Never I know. Mind. I'm You're terrible. Really trying in, not to yeah, corrupt just, you. Yeah. Okay. It was just the name of the wool that did it. Yeah. Just the colors. Very. And the, this is pink. Lemonade. Glam. Like it's very glam. Oh, you're gonna be gorgeous. No, you want one. We yeah. all want one. So, anyways, so, you're gonna knit this up and yes, and just like that. Yeah. And yeah. we'll show, we'll show you all. But in the meantime. Go to Wool and the Gang and, and check out yourself. their amazing kits. They have great beginner kit. patterns so all the way to expert. Too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so mm -hmm. great directions. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it, the hardest part will be choosing just one. Right. Well, in Madison, colors. the Good Day Shop does have their wool in several different um, weights, but yeah. they also have a whole bunch of their patterns. There. Oh, oh do they? Yeah. Shop. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. So you're going to get some mustang salad? Ooh, mustard I want salad. mustard salad. I yeah. do. They yeah. have so, so many that'd be good colors. Color for you too. And they're mm -hmm. so fun. Mm -hmm. Jamie made something and we don't even have she it. Made she made a cow. cow. And we should have, I'm not going to. With dash. the yarn? Yeah. Oh. I should dash down and get it. Maybe. Oh, I know because it was blue. beautiful. She made the blue color, which I, do you remember what it was called? I don't, I don't remember. But it's very pretty on her. Oh, is it smelling good down I think, there? I know, I'm so I mean, hungry. we're it's having like... It's cow, right? Yes, yeah. and it just brings out the blue in her eyes. Mm -hmm. And I think we're getting pork sausage. Did she sausage. get a pattern from them too? Or did um, she just buy the yarn? She found a pattern. She oh, bought the yarn and then she went to Ravelry. Okay. And I don't remember what the pattern is, but yeah, she just whipped that up. I mean, we right. well, we were we had um, guests in town. Our dear Lisa from California, who we're going to be bringing to Madison. She's coming back. She's yeah. coming back, and her daughter Madison lives here. Yes. Have you guys she's missed on. me? Oh, oh yeah. here she comes. Look at that. That's a great color for you. This is oh. Jamie's oh. cowl. Imagine how Oh, that's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. She says the pattern's up here in her bag, but we'll put it in the show notes. It's one skein. Just one. Yeah. Oh, the crazy sexy one. Yeah. Yep. And it's got this really cute motif. Oh, it's beautiful. darling. It's so warm. Yeah. So she loves this. Wow. I this was her you. birthday knit, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, what we were just her. talking about. Yeah. Very, very short we missed you. Did you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do some synchronized dancing on the way out. I don't know. It's not synchronized. <laughs> Whatever. Sally didn't even move at <laughs> all. Come on. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Um, <laughs> but if we put any music on, I guess. Yeah, we've had some of our videos muted by YouTube because. Oh, because. Yeah. Oh, really? Whatever, yeah. yeah. But we're not yeah. the group, remember? What does yeah. that mean, muted? Oh, because. Oh, that's right. We swore? No, because we had. <laughs> oh, really? Happy Stone. Oh, yeah. 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 Something Which like we didn't. Oh, yeah. you mean your little thing's gone? Yeah. They like took just the whole video? video? No, it's just mute. That whole oh. section is mute. Oh. And it was oh. so perfect. Oh, well, oh, whatever. And cute. I know the Rolling Stones would not mind. <laughs> I wanted their original fans. <laughs> you know? yes. yeah, Mick exactly. and I go way back. I'm sure you yeah. do. I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It so, explains a lot, yeah, Sally. Yeah, right. Yes. We're gonna. We're not probably gonna see. Well, no, we'll see you again because I'm sure you guys are gonna play bingo with us, right? Right. Yeah, we we'll should. play with you. Okay, great. So we'll get those up. Be sure to check out bingo. Be sure to check out the show notes. We're having a Lily along, and guess what people are saying? What? What are people saying? To be eligible for the hip oh. wool yarn, they're going to talk about someone they appreciate when we talk about you. Oh, because oh. we love you. Yeah, we do. Oh. We do. Yes. 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 You are the greatest guest yes. of the season. And yes. Right. Oh, my gosh. Uh, yes. Yes. So. <laughs> it's not a podcast till we make somebody cry. Yes. Exactly. Oh. <laughs> exactly. Yes. But we want to send you love, too. Yes. Be oh, good yes. to yourself. Keep what keep reading the advent along. Yeah. yeah. And you may, yeah. you know, all and keep finding time to sip whatever your beverage is mm -hmm. and have some quiet time with just you and whatever it is you like to make. Yeah. Because that's important. Mm -hmm. That's you know, that's important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And your people. And, and your, your people. people. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> your gang. Your people. Yeah. Your gang. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> Hi again.
Hi. <laughs> We're back. Uh, we just finished podcasting and the mailman came. Mm, it was a happy mail day. Yes. And we we had to share with you this package because it was so incredible. We received a package from Heidi and a lovely card. Yeah, and Heidi's from Folk City Yarns. You might recall her from an yeah. earlier podcast. She has this incredible, she does everything. Yeah. She dyes, she makes soaps, she makes salves. This is... This Folk is, City Fiber Studio, yes. sorry. She's a professor, she does graphic design, she... Writes. Have I said all the things? Yeah. Writes patterns. And writes she's words. a lovely person to boot. <laughs> Cre makes books. Look at her yarn. Look at that. I mean, this yarn is stunning. It's Coriadale Merino, and we. I mean, we're we want we just you know we how, just we sit and we admire, admire it, it. <laughs> and we haven't used it yet, but we plan it's one of to those use special, it. Yeah. Special. Oh things. yes. Anyway, so, so look we, at her. I mean, look at her beautiful graphics. She's so talented. This community is so talented. We are just so blessed to be a part of it. And let's show so here's back. all yep. her info. If you please like, follow, and investigate her work. Yes. So she sent us a couple books of her poetry, and they are stunning compositions and very creatively put together. And yeah, oh, just and I we, look at that. It's like. Little yeah. pieces of paper sewn on. Yeah, and then the, you can see the back, the threads. Yeah. But she does these reversible designs. So we haven't had a chance to read the poems yet, but we. But Wait, we it was literally delivered five minutes ago. Right, right. It's, and so we <laughs> drop wanted, everything and yeah, podcast yeah. again. So we just wanted to share one because I felt like this was what we were talking about. Um, literally, we were talking about this one on the podcast. It says, "When light reaches it." All color is movement, so no single hue can be viewed on its own, dancing as if life depends on it. When light reaches it, all color is movement, so no single hue can be viewed on its own, dancing as if life depends on it. And then her design is such that you can see the back of the paper the back of the poem oh on the camera it's flipping it but on us you would need a mirror I think it only flips it for our view oh okay yeah. at any rate what a stunning gift and then she also and this is the um her other book she has it's a picture of Heidi in the back mm -hmm. hi Heidi <laughs> yes so she included um salve oh and that she me... keeps by her knitting bag in the winter time such oh, an and incredible it just smells so yeah so oh, oh smell a vision mm -hmm. Oh, yes. but look at how beautiful that is. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we just wanted to share that with yeah. you. And Heidi, that's thank just you. beyond, I know. beyond kind, you are thoughtful, so and sweet. talented. So. And we are humbled yes. by all, so yeah. many of the people in this. Thank you yeah. so much. So we wanted to share with you Yay. all, too. Yeah. All right. Okay. Bye again. Bye.